Hello everyone! Welcome back to another rock painting activity here with Miss Lizzie at the library. So today for our rock animal we're going to make is a little hedgehog, which I think are so cute and so fun and will look really really cute outside in your garden or on your walkway. Or if you just wanted to use it to decorate your room or put a paperweight on your desk, it's so so cute. And very simple. All we're going to need is you're going to need a rock, preferably a nice flat one just to make it a little bit easier. It doesn't matter the size. If you want to make it bigger, that's great. It will be harder to paint and get the little details the smaller it is, but you know, if you want to do that task, that's totally fine. And then some paint. I have some acrylic paint here because I think it um, stays really nicely, but you can use outdoor paint, which is really great if anything, especially if you're going to put it outside, I would recommend that. Or if you still want to put it outside, but you only have acrylic paint, you can buy an outdoor sealant to then put on the rocks and that will just help with the weather and the elements from destroying your little hedgehog friend. So and then I have some I have two paint brushes, one for the little bit bigger details and then I have a small one for any finer details. And then I just have a plate to put my paint on and to kind of act as a place to paint my rock as well. So I'm going to start my, oh, and the paint colors I have, I have brown, white, and black. And the reason, um, I want to use some tan, but I don't have any, so I'm actually going to mix these two colors together. That's why I have the white, but mainly we're going to use just tan, black, and brown. But again, if you have other colors and you want to make your hedgehog a different color, that's great too. But these are the colors I'm going to use today. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown there and some white and kind of mix that and see what we get. And then I'm also just going to have some brown as well for the base and a little bit of black for some finer details. Okay. All right, I'm going to try mixing it, mixing these paints and see if you just wanted to buy tan or if you have some tan paint, I would recommend just using that. Um, make it easier, but we can also improvise here and you can use what you have. And that's what we're doing. All right, I actually want to add some more white and make it even lighter. I want it to be lighter just to contrast because I'm going to make the little body brown and then kind of where his face is is going to be um, lighter and tanner so I really want to make sure that there's that nice line of demarcation between the two, the face and the body. bit more. A little bit more white in there. And I think this will be it and then you'll just be able to see that there's a difference in color. There we go. So there's my lighter one and there's my darker one. So I'm going to start by taking the um, half of a rock and I'm going to try to choose the more narrow end. This one's pretty round so it doesn't have that narrow of an end but if yours does I would recommend using the narrow end as a head so it can kind of come to a point to put his little nose on there. But mine like I said doesn't really have that so I'm just going to kind of gauge it the best of my abilities and I'm going to paint about a fourth or a third of the rock and let me draw a line to show you what I mean. So only about that much to be the hedgehog's little face. Just like that. And then I'm going to use the same brush and then I'm going to take the dark brown and paint that on the rest of his little body. This 
is just a really fun activity, and these um, these these are really great to do. Also, like insect themed, so you could make a ladybug, which I think looks really cute. Especially if you have a nice round rock. Um, all right. Let's see. So now it looks like that. Very cute. Okay. And here's where I'm going to take the more detailed brush. Now normally I would recommend letting this dry, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be naughty and not let mine dry and do it right now so you can see what I mean. And I'm just going to do two little eyes and a nose on the head. I'm just going to do two right on top. And then I'm going to make his nose a little bit faker. So to differentiate. So it looks like that. See how cute. And then I'm going to take some black and kind of make little triangles to look like quills. And I'm going to do that all along the back of him. And I'll show you what that looks like. So it looks like this. And now you can see he has his little, his little spikes on him. And that's really it. Very super easy. Very cute, like I said. If you wanted to add other details for him, you totally could. Like if you wanted to add some little ears up here, it's totally up to you. Or maybe let's round out his face a little bit more. I think that would look cute and add some more brown down here. Yeah. Like I said, and you can kind of make it your own, which is the really fun and cute part about it. So, there he is. There's my finished hedgehog. So cute and easy, right? And if you missed last time, we did sheep. So you can go over and watch that video. And then we'll be doing another one later this month as well. And that one's going to be really fun too. So make sure you catch that. Um, but like I said, it's really easy to just find a rock in your backyard or anywhere around. They also sell some rocks. So wanted to get some at a craft store, the nice flat ones. Um, you can get one there. And then like I said, just have some paint. And then you can make lots of fun little critters to put in your garden outside or as decor in your room and just have a little critter friends there. All right. And like always, we love to see what you guys do and all your different creations so please feel free to send us any photos to our emails here at the library and we hope to see you in here now that we're open to as well so thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you soon thank you Bye bye